Well, the Democratic Party, that's the DA's precursor, scored just 330,000 votes way back in 1994. Well, two decades later, the party is the official opposition, commanding 4 million votes in the 2015 general election. But where did the DA come from? And what can voters expect from the party in this year's elections? Nicholas Bauer takes a look. The Democratic Party was perceived as a minor party of white liberals when the former progressive Federal Party, Independent Party and National Democratic Movement merged in 1989. With seven MPs and less than 2% of their electorate in 1994, Tony Leon led the party into Parliament as the official opposition after refusing to join Nelson Mandela's Government of National Unity. Formally becoming the official opposition in 1999 after securing almost 10% of all ballots with one and a half million votes. Lead the fight back for a decent South Africa and for a better future. Leon and then President Thabo Mbeki regularly clashed. The matter under discussion now is caused to an extent by your failure to give an emphatic positive statement that HIV is the major cause of AIDS in South Africa. In 2000, the DP's short-lived bromance with the new National Party to form the Democratic Alliance terminated when Martinez van Skolkweg led the NNP into a later merger with the ANC. The NNP's future is together and with the ANC. Come the 2004 elections, the DA scored 12% of the vote and 50 seats in Parliament. Three years later, the party had a new leader. The new leader of the Democratic Alliance is Helen Zilla. As mayor of Cape Town, Helen Zilla touted her ability to show what an opposition leader could do in government. You elected us. We are here to serve you, all of the people. In 2009, it was Zilla versus Zuma in the general election and the DA received almost 3 million votes, 16% of their electorate, with Zilla becoming the new Western Cape Premier. Come 2014's election, 22% of their electorate and 89 seats in Parliament from 4 million votes. Soon after, Musi Maimani became the party's parliamentary leader before being elected party president in 2015. The first black leader of the official opposition, Maimane set out an ambitious program to attract more black support. I choose South Africa and I say President Zuma must go. And in 2016, led the party into government in Johannesburg, Tswane and Nelson Mandela Bay after unseating the ANC with the help of smaller parties. With rumblings of a breakaway led by dissatisfied DA members, my money will be under severe pressure to see the blue machine grow in another election. We can make history, we can build one South Africa for all, and we can march together to bring change. The scene is thus set for my money's biggest test yet. Niklaus Bauer, Johannesburg. Well, people's at